Good morning. It's March the 25th, and it's time for our daily reading from An Almanac for Moderns by Donald Colrose Petey. March 25th. The beginnings of spring, the true beginnings, are quite unlike the spring tides of which poets and musicians sing. The artists become conscious of spring in late April or May, when it is not too much to say that the village idiot would observe that birds are singing and nesting, that fields bear up their freight of flowering, and ants return to their proverbial industry. But the first vernal days are younger. Spring steals in shyly, a tall, naked child, in her pale gold hair, amidst us, the uninnocent. Skeptics in wool mufflers, prudes in gumshoes, and grundies with head colds. Very secretly, the old field cedars sow the wind with the freight of their ancient pollen. A grackle in the willow croaks and sings in the uncertain, ragged voice of a boy. The marshes brim, and walking is a muddy business. Oaks still are barren and secretive. On the lilac tree, only the twin buds suggest her coming maturity and flowering. But there in the pond, Float the inky masses of those frogs' eggs, visibly life in all its rawness, its elemental shape and purpose. Now is the moment when the secret of life could be discovered, yet no one finds it. That's the reading for today, March the 25th. Thanks, and see you tomorrow.